members of the Congress. My name is Jose Antonio Castro. I am proud of four children. I entered to this country as uh, undocumented when I was 15 years old, seeking a better life, working in the fields, picking grapes in the San Joaquin Valley in California. I started to work as a radio announcer in Bakersfield, California, and have been on radio now for 24 years. I became a legal permanent resident in 1988 due to the amnesty signed by Republican President Ronald Reagan. I became a citizen in 1994, and I believe that I have contributed to the richness of my country. The law that President Reagan signed working and can work again for millions of immigrants just waiting to come out of the shadows. I came to Havana one year ago to work at the station Mahepa. It was a hard decision to leave my family in California to come to work in Alabama, but it was a great opportunity to join a growing radio station. I understand firsthand the hardship of suffering of separating families now that this law has passed thousands of families across Alabama are now beginning separate too. When the HB 56 passed, I start to immediately hear stories of families fleeing the state. But I want to hear these stories in person to understand the real impact on Alabama communities. So that's why I started a march across the state to talk to the people in their own communities. We start on Route 56, accompanied by Orlando Rosa and Pepe Estrada. We travel more than 180 miles and visit 40 cities and 40 days. In Huntsville, we meet with a group of strong women who are United, citizen, United States citizens who oppose the law and who fear that his law is leading, leading to a family disintegration. I remember Mr. Smith shared that next year Alabamans can expect an increase in their food prices due to the lack of workers to harvest the fields. Also in Decatur, I meet with a farmer who will only be able to plant three acres next year instead of the 80, 80 acres he expects to plant before the bill passes because he doesn't expect to have a stable workforce. And yet another community member in Decatur spoke to me about the possible increase in the money coming into our community if instead of scapegoating immigrant politicians pass the law to make them legal. Right now, many families are separate due to all broken immigration laws and immigrant workers here in the United States send money back to their home countries in this if these immigrant workers were granted legal status, they could invest that money here in Alabama in buying homes and supporting their families here. A special story was Helena, a mother, who told us with tears in her eyes about her 19 years old son. He arrived in this country when he was three years old. He decided to stay indoors for 10 years, for 10 days, because of the fear of being deported to a country that he never knew. In our view, we visit business that are suffering from the absence of Hispanics as workers and as customers. The fields of Onianta are now empty and lack the strong and skilled hands that know how to work the land. I repeat, Onianta is suffering from a lack of skilled worker, the politician think that you can just send anyone into the fields to pick the vegetable and fruits that we enjoy at our dinner table. But Onyanta is a clear example that this is not true. There are now many parked cars without license plates in communities across Alabama because people can no longer register their cars. In Tuscaloosa, I meet with a mother named Maria who survived a tornado. 
She was left without a house. Her 15 years old son protected her from the tornado in a bathtub. She and her son confronted natural fury, but her citizen son cannot protect her against aggressive HB 56 law, and she has left the state. HB 56 is bad for Alabama and bad for America. Congress should be do everything it can to stop like laws like these from being passed by the state and should focus on a federal solution that will bring immigrants off of the shores. As one smart Alabama shared with me when I'm asked what he think of people who say illegal is illegal, his response was, make them legal. Instead of dividing the issue of legality versus illegality and blaming the immigrant workers, we shall be working to fix the system. Thank you.